Hey, hey you guys i am back with another video and today i'm going to be telling you how you can stay fresh during these summer months using affordable hygiene products so if that is something that intrigues your little mind make sure you stick around and stay tuned but before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn on your bell notifications so that you won't miss another one of my episodes and also if you are new here welcome leave me a hashtag below hashtag sunny squad with two sunshine that lets me know that you are new so that i can give you a proper welcome if you are od but goody welcome back so glad to have each and every one of you guys so listen hear me when i say this video is going to be for um those of you that may be on a budget you can't afford the high end all of that everything that i'm talking about today you can get on the low low you don't have to be in these streets smelling this summer because y'all know how it is. It gets really hot in the summertime. So these are just some simple things that I do on a regular basis, especially in the hot summer months. So let's jump right into it, shall we? All right. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is soap. Y'all know I always talk about my Holy Grail Dow antibacterial soap. If you don't have nothing else in your shower, if you got a bar soap, dial bar soap antibacterial and you got some washcloth you can actually be fresh with just using a bar soap all this other stuff is just pretty much extra but if you wash yourself thoroughly and i got plenty of hygiene videos shower routines on this channel on how you can thoroughly wash your body good but you take this bar soap and you wash yourself a good two to three times in the shower in the bath or whichever one you prefer you have a towel for your have a towel for your body and your your lady parts down there and then you have a towel for your backside and that is what i use um to keep myself clean i even use this in my lady parts dial antibacterial soap does not irritate me down there um but majority of the time um when i run out of my dove sensitive soap this is my backup my antibacterial dial soap you cannot go wrong with this you guys this soap will get you squeaky clean, I promise you. Moving right along to the backside. I don't have it here. I left it in the shower because I'm almost out, really. But Irish Spring Body Wash. The only thing I use the Irish Spring Body Wash, you guys, for is my backside. I let that stuff sit back there because that backside, you got, to, you got to work on it just like you do your front and downstairs. You got to work on that backside because that can have its own little stitch back there. And I promise you, it is nothing nice. And then with the summer months, you want to make sure you get back there and get some of that hair back there in the crevices. You got to get back there and feel and stuff. Be careful. If you are scared to put a razor back there, you can always do nair. Nair just wipe off once it comes off. But that hair can set up and hold moisture, you guys. And I do, I don't shave my lady part. I use Nair because I just don't trust myself with a razor down there. She's too precious to be trying to get some nicks and cuts. So I just use Nair and let it fall off, especially in the summer times because less hair is less funk. To me, hair holds odor and I ain't got time for it. And I know you ladies don't have time for it because we're going to be smelling fresh out here in these streets. So listen, less hair, less odor. So that's number two of what you need. So we've talked about the dial soap and the Irish spring. All right, so now when you get through washing your body, the fun part comes body wash. And y'all know this is super, super affordable. This is the soft soap body. I didn't have any more of my suave um, honey and milk because I was going to show you guys that because that's like $1.88 at Walmart. But this is like two to three bucks, no more than three something. But soft soap, y'all know I rave about soft soaps on my channel. And this one is, I just took it off under the sink because I got the Method, the Fresh Scent Body Wash. I didn't like that one as much as I like the honey and oat, the oat one and rice milk. But anyway, this one is Gentle Wash. It's oat milk and comforting vanilla. And y'all know when I saw vanilla and oat milk together i was like this is going home with me so this right here this could be your body wash that you use and it's really a light scent is nothing really strong or anything so if you wanted to put on your favorite fragrance which we're going to talk about a little later but 
this right here will get you super clean. You could even take baths in this. You can soak in this. This soft soap makes some of the best. And my favorite one is the oat and honey. That's the one that I love. But I saw this one. It was new. Well, it was new to me. So I picked this one up. It's gentle wash. I wouldn't, I don't know how, I wouldn't recommend this for your lady part, but it's gentle and mild. So I would definitely keep you guys posted. But this is one of the brands that I love. Super affordable body washes, just like the Suave um, body washes. They're very affordable and they smell amazing. My favorite one, as I said always, is Honey and Oat. That's my favorite one, the Milk Honey and Oat one. But this would be a good way for you to not break the bank, but still have the basics of what you need to smell fresh and to stay clean. So that's that. And you know, in the summer months, you need something strong. This is actually a um, men's deodorant, but it's unscented, but it's really strong. I go backwards before be, between this one and the Dove. The Dove um, Cool Essentials is my favorite one, but when I don't want any scent on, I use this Ultra Max Unscented from the men's section. It doesn't have a scent to it or anything. It don't have a scent at all. And all you do is put the deodorant on. Um, you don't sweat a lot with this. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, like I said, it doesn't have a scent or anything like that. So that is super, super good. And then when you come to the summer months, you know, right up under your girls, right up under your boobies, they sweat in between your navel button, you know, it, in between your thighs, especially if you're wearing like a lot of maxi dress, like in the summer, that's all I wear. And you know, so your thighs gonna be rubbing together if you got, you know, some thighs like I do. So you need some talc-free uh, body powder. And y'all know I love Arm & Hammer. Y'all just tag, tag Arm & Oh, Jesus, I done messed this up, Jesus. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God, I done broke this, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Anyway, <laughs> this is broke. But anyway, it's the Arm & Hammer talc-free body powder. Whatever kind of powder you use, you want to make sure it's talc-free. Because, you know, they always say um, baby powder is linked to cancer. Don't know how true that is, but that's what they say. So I always use talc-free. This one is a really good one. You can get this from your local Dollar Tree for $1.25. And just talc some, you know, in between your boobies, in between your thighs, and back there on your backside, just to make sure you stay dry. Cause when you, um, oh, the nail just breaking. When you are, when you have a lot of tight stuff on and your legs and your stuff is clinging together, it can also make you chase, especially your thighs, they be burning. So when you put this talc powder down there, it's gonna kind of keep you from like sweating or, you know, moisture getting there because I don't know about you, but when your thighs rub together so long, they start burning. It's not a good feeling. So I always highly recommend this talc-free powder, which is really, really good. And then for moisture, you know, you want your legs and you see how I'm glistening. You want your arms and stuff to be moisturized and all that good stuff. So here are two suggestions. First one is I've been really loving the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist. It's oat oil and a hobo oil. It's really good for dry and rough skins, even, even skin in one week. So I've been using this and it doesn't take much, you guys, and it just spray on. You just spray it on. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? You see what I'm talking about? You gonna need that for your legs and your arms and everything to be glistening this summer. And then y'all know my old faithful, Vaseline, you cannot go wrong. That's why I said the stuff that I'm talking about, y'all, y'all can find this in your local Dollar Tree, Walmart. You don't have to break the bank to smell good. <laughs> you really don't. These are super, super affordable products. You can mix this together. Y'all know I always talk about mixing stuff to make your stuff last longer. Stay tuned for that video for Lean Combo Scents. I'm still working on them, you guys, so just bear with me. But these two mixed together, oh, you'll be glistening. And then y'all know my old concoction. I'm going to show you some affordable ones. I have this one, which is, you can tell I'm almost out, but this one is my favorite. Um, this is the Brazilian Crush 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. This is hair and body mist, so... 
Not only do you want to want to be smelling good on your body, you want your hair to be smelling good too because that's a part of your hygiene as well. So I have this right here. I love, love, love that. And I'm going to have the links to these products below. And then I have Pink Sugar. Y'all know this is one of my old faithfuls. I actually carry this in my to-go bag. But as y'all can see, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I had to cut into it because I couldn't even open the thing. But Pink Sugar... You can mix pink sugar with so many things and it smells good. So that's that. And then my last one is an old faithful one. This is the vanilla. Y'all know I love vanilla body fantasy. This, I've used this for years. And the, believe it or not, vanilla is just one of those scents where you just can't go wrong with it. This one you can spray all over you and you will be fresh, fresh, fresh when I tell you. And then the last thing is to help you stay freshen up throughout the day. Y'all know I always talk about these Summer Eve's little cleansing cloth. These Keep these in your purse, you guys, your to-go bag. If you feel you need to freshen up, go in the bathroom, whip this out. With it, wipe your whole body down if you need to be. Keep a, keep a, quite a few of these around. And then, ladies, if you wear... um um panty liners this will keep you fresh if you change your panty lines throughout the day um a lot of times i wear these on days when i'm having a light day on my um periods and then sometimes when i'm around the house i'm just not going i'm just gonna be honest with you i don't wear panties that much when i'm around the house it's just your girl need to breathe she's always locked up she's on lockdown she need to breathe but when i'm out and about especially in the hot months i like to wear a Oh, excuse me, a panty liner. So that that is my little spiel on how you can stay fresh during these went these summer and springtime days because y'all it's getting hot. It's been up in the 80s lately, and your girl don't be wanting to go out to like early in the morning or late in the evening because the heat ain't no joke, and your girl don't like to sweat. So I hope this video helped you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you like content like this. We are all sunshines over here. We are a positive community for the most part. You know, we uplift each other, try to answer each other's questions. If we have questions, make sure you engage with me in the comments and all these products will be linked in the description box. So God bless. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.